Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to Delaware Resource Group Super Athlete of the Week, Derek Sievertson, a sophomore from Moore, Oklahoma, currently ranked seventh in the NAI at 184, and he has a 39 and 12 record on the season. And you took third place, the Missouri Valley Invitational. Uh, talk about the significance of that showing. Um, yeah, the uh, Missouri Valley tournament showcases a lot of uh, NAI teams that we normally don't see very much throughout the year. Um, so it was really good being able to see those kids that we normally don't wrestle. Um, I got upset early on in the tournament, but I was able to uh, come back and battle back in for third. And so it was just a really good showing for me, I think. A lot of athletes make a significant jump between their freshman and sophomore year. Do you feel like that's the case for you, and uh, how have you improved over the last year? Oh, definitely. I've gotten 10 times better than I was last year. Um, one of the key things that I think have improved on is my confidence level. Um, coming in as a freshman, you know, I was a little nervous. I didn't know how college wrestling was going to be. But um, after being uh, pretty successful last year, um, I've been able to go out this year and really do my best and have confidence in my wrestling. You gained experience at the national tournament last year. So what do you think it takes to wrestle on a national level? You know, it really takes um, day in, day out, going in, um, and really giving everything you've got at practice. But um, on top of that, you can't be um, – nationally uh, a national type wrestler just doing two and a half hours of practice every day you got to put in the extra work you got to go to the gym at night and um, really work hard and able to, to and to be on that level you followed your brother Cody here to OCU talk about what it's like having him in the same practice room and how he's influenced you as an OCU wrestler you know it's really great um We've always, you know, been competitive with each other, and uh, we're pretty close to the same weight now. So not this year. He's redshirting this year, so I haven't really been able to wrestle him very much this year. But as of last year, um, we would just be wrestling each other and fighting every day and, you know, competing and making each other better. So it's been a real great thing. What's your major here at OCU? It's accounting. Uh, what are your career plans when wrestling's over? Um, at this point, you know, I'm looking to get uh, a few internships, hopefully, throughout my college career, and then, um, you know, to get some accounting experience in the field. And then uh, after that, we'll see where my uh, interests are, what type of accounting I feel like doing, and so on and so forth. So, What brought you here to OCU? You know, it was really my brother. Um, I hadn't really planned on wrestling in college before he came to college, and, uh, you know, he really just told me the great the program is really great and um, his success on and off the mat really just uh, showed me that it would be a great fit for me to come here. So, Can you describe what a typical day is like for you? Yeah, so um, I wake up at about 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock. I have a work study job here on campus so usually every morning I go and I do that. I work for an hour or two and I have class until about 12 every day. Practice at 1 until 3.30 after practice, um, I usually have, I have class on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but uh, on other days I go and I work for a few more hours. Um, after that, I go study, do some homework, and then uh, about two or three times a week, I'll go put in some extra work at the gym. All right, thanks very much. We're talking to Delaware Resource Group Superstar Athlete of the Week, Derek Sievertson. Coming up next on the OCU Athletics Update, we'll talk to baseball coach Denny Craybaugh. There's a call to be answered. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. The phrase student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Learn more at NAIA.org. Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to baseball coach Denny Craybaugh. The Stars will open the season on February 3rd against Southern Nazarene. And, Coach, you've got, um, you've got Connor Lynch returning this year after being an All-American last year, preseason All-American this year. Talk about the importance of him coming back. Well, it's important because you've got that 
guy you can build the rest of the team around. You got the guy who has credibility within the team because he is an All-American, and you got that guy coming back for leadership uh, positions, and he's done a really good job of that. I mean, I think he's really taking hold of that, wanting to be a leader on the team, and knows his importance to the team, and he's that guy that you know you're going to be able to write his name into the lineup, and he's going to produce day after day after day. Another key returner coming back is Ryan Wright, the infielder. Talk about his importance to the team. Well, he's another guy that uh, brings immediately credibility to the team because of his numbers from last year, and he's improved on that. He's very versatile, and he is a leader on in the clubhouse as well, and he and Connor working together are trying to uh, get the new guys to the direction that we need to be going, and that's one of the things this year for our team is that we're trying to get back to list. In the last couple of years, we stumbled, and we kind of new focus, new direction, and these two guys, and especially with Ron Wright and Connor, uh, uh, they are the guys who are trying to get the attitude turned around to get it refocused back to doing the things we need to do. And both of those guys are going to be interest, instrumental in our success this year. Talk about some of the other guys you have coming back from last year. Well, we don't have a whole lot coming back from last year. Uh, we do have Adam Clark and Garrett Foster. They're both shortstops that alternated time last year. Uh, they both We'll be alternating a little bit this year and try to figure out they both bring a little bit something different to the table. And uh, so I think we're pretty good there. Hunter Markham is another guy who played a lot last year that's coming back. And uh, all and Josh Halbert and those guys are all infielders that, you know, be splitting time with each other. I think we'll have a little bit of a rotation there. Uh, another guy coming back that put up big numbers for us last year as a freshman was Jared Baker. Uh, in the outfield, and he's another guy we're expecting to put up big numbers again. He's had an outstanding fall. He's having an outstanding preseason so far in our scrimmages. So he's a guy that I think, uh, you know, got a chance to put up big numbers and be an all-conference type guy. And who are some new guys you brought in that you expect to make an impact? Well, we've got a, quite a few. Uh, positionally, uh, we've got a first baseman, J.J. Bissell, that uh, is a big home run threat, a middle-of-the-lineup type hitter. Uh, who's been slowed with an injury this fall, but he's healthy now and swinging the bat well, and we expect him to uh, be one of those middle of the line, typical OCU middle of the lineup type hitters. Uh, guys outfield, Reggie Wilson, a center fielder who can has a lot of tools, can do a lot of things. Uh, another newcomer is a guy named Joe Haddix, another outfielder uh, that we transfer from Wichita State that we recruited out of high school, and he's coming back. and. Those guys are going to form a core of uh, outfield rotation around. I think they'll be doing uh, they'll be doing real well. On the mound, we got several new guys. Dustin Cook will be a guy that he's been drafted three times, and uh, he's here now this year. And we expect him to be at the top of our rotation. And uh, Carlos Chavez, a new, another new guy who's uh, getting a lot of pro interest as well, and uh, just. Grant Hamilton, another a guy a transfer who's an Oklahoma City area kid who's transferred in from JUCO in Kansas, and uh, those guys are going to form the core of our uh, rotation. We've got a couple of new guys that came in at the break, and we're excited about them, Skyler Janice and uh, Miguel Gonzalez, and those guys, I think, uh, will fit in nicely. Talk about the progress of the bottom of the ninth campaign. Well, the bottom ninth campaign is a fundraising project that we're trying to build to build a new facility, a cross street new hitting facility, and then remodel our locker rooms. Uh, it's gone on, it's kind of been off on again, but now it's kind of on. We recently received a, uh, a $75,000 challenge grant uh, towards the project where we've got this foundation willing to match grants uh, up to 75000 uh, for it. So we feel if we can get 75000 in his match, we feel pretty confident we're going to be able to start construction, laying the groundwork for the new facilities. It's been quite a month for you, a couple of Hall of Fame inductions, OCU Hall of Fame, the uh, American yeah. Baseball Coaches Association Hall of Fame. Talk about what that means to you. Well, one, it means I've been around a long time uh, when you get accolades like that. But more importantly to me, it means that I've surrounded myself with very good people. Uh, coaches, especially Keith, because he's been there from the get-go, and all the other guys who've been helping, and then, then the players. We've had a lot of good players around that have made us look very good, and uh, and without the players, this wouldn't be possible. So uh, 
Uh, I've told everybody I share these awards with all the coaches and all the players that have come through there because I'm nothing without them. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Baseball coach Denny Craybaugh, the star season gets underway February 3rd against Southern Nazarene, and you can follow the team on OCUsports.com.